Hey, you beavers, you quit damning my dam. I'm getting those guys. One of the things that when we've had some high winds like we're having today and storms and stuff is we got ready to go somewhere like down, down here to the dam. I know what I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find a beaver dam again in my spillway. I can tell by the water level because it has not rained. It's rained zero in January, zero so far. And I can tell that the water is coming up a little bit, that the Mr. Beaver has done his work. But one of the problems we have running around on the ranch roads, and these are back in the back end here. You can see what this road looks like. It doesn't look near like the roads that go from the county road down to the house, but I love these roads. They're good roads. They get washed out, and the problem we have is we have trees that fall down over the road, so we have to come in here with a chainsaw and, and, uh, and cut them a lot of the times. And, clean the road out so you never know when you get ready to go do something and you get off of the main roads because we have trees fall across the main road also four-wheel drive hey four-wheel drive let's get four-wheel drive to go up this little hill four-wheel drive coming right up little hill not a problem ah, that is such a gorgeous sight right there I love that I love it I love it it's almost worth driving down here just to look at that right there. It is almost worth it. I gotta tell you how this, how this ranch got its name, Twin Eagle Ranch. How this name got its Twin Eagle Ranch name was at this spot right here, but actually right on the dam. And I'll, I'll we'll look at it here in a minute, but I pulled up here in the dam on a four wheeler and I looked down that lake, you know, a mile or so down there, and it's absolutely incredible. Prettier here because you're looking through the trees there, just standing off the dam. I was sitting there and I turned my engine off and was just looking, and me and God was having a little, little talk. And I looked up and I saw two bald eagles flying around up there, just soaring around. Two bald eagles, big white heads and tails. And I thought, wow, twin eagles, is that cool? They really weren't twins, I'm sure it's a male and a female, but Twin Eagle, that's how we named the ranch. And uh, I'll pull on down here and I'll show you that spot. But I saw five eagles this morning, five eagles, that's right, five eagles, two bald eagles and three more that were flying pretty much kind of with them. And they might have been golden eagles, because we got golden eagles also, but I really believe they were young bald eagles. Now, a, a bald eagle doesn't get the white on its head and on its tail until it gets up to like four or five years old. So it could have been that those were three. Now, I, I don't know that eagles have three very often, but, uh, but, but, but anyway, uh, it's a uh, beamer. She, come here, beamer, get over here, back over here. But right, right here was that spot I was telling you about. Beaver, kennel, beaver, 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 beaver. Kennel up in here, baby. Kennel, beaver. We got traps around here. Get, get in, get in. That was the look uh, right there. That was it right there. That's what I was looking at. And I saw these two big bald eagles flying around up there, and I thought, wow, wow, wow. I know I've told that story several times, but you never get tired of telling a story like that. It's just fantastic. And But this morning at the house, right after daylight, uh, I saw two big bald eagles flying around out there and I looked and I thought wow there's some more and I looked and there was three other eagles and and they might have been young bald eagles I don't know like I said I think and I know owls I found several owl nests and they have they lay two eggs they lay them in February and uh, it, I don't know if an eagle lays two or three but it could be that that eagle that I'm sure that was a pair the male and the female it could be that those three might have been might have been um, might have been you know young bald eagles they're pretty good size eagles but uh, they were with those other two, so that might be a whole family of five. All right, let's go down here and see what we can find. Mm. Beamer, you stay. You stay, Beamer. 
We stay. <laughs> All right, I'm ready for them. I'm ready for them. Let's see what we got here. I know what I'm gonna see. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's worse than what I ever thought. Look at that. Goodness sakes alive. That, this is like the this is like the fourth time. This is like the fourth time that that I've cleaned this thing out in the last three or four weeks. I did a video on it a couple weeks ago, and uh, it was not as bad as it is now. But you see that big pile of sticks over there? Those have all come from right here. And uh, I got about an hour's worth of work here in front of me. See if I can get down there. I got my boots on. Because that water is like inches deep going through my spillway. But the water of the lake is at least a foot taller. Uh, maybe closer to, to two foot over the top of that. So I'm going to get down here and I got me a brand new pair of leather gloves. Look at that, a brand new pair of leather gloves. The other pair, the stuffing was coming out of the middle and it was just, they were in, they were in terrible shape. The way you got to clean these things out, somebody, somebody told me I need to use a pitchfork and I guess that'd work. Some of y'all said I need a mini excavator. If you know a tractor company that will give me a mini excavator. I'm ready to use one. But the way you gotta really clean this thing up is you just sort of start, and you see how that stuff is intertwined together? You see that? Uh, you just pick up what you can throw out and you throw it out. And you kind of work your way down until you can get to a point to where you can start tearing it up. But they, they, they put them together. You see what's happening there? It's just a stick. But they get it down there and they, they put mud in there. You see all that mud? They put mud in. They put mud in there. They put grass out of the lake. Mud, mud. They put grass out of the lake and they just, they, they just throw it in there and they pack around it. And one will go one way, one will go the other way. They really want it to keep running. They don't want to completely stop it up, but they want to get it to the point. Oh, be careful grabbing them in between your legs, Jimmy. Looky there. Looky there. Oh, that's a dang. Looky there. That's a dang two before. And a good two before. I'm going to save that. Good two before's are like finding gold. <laughs> like finding gold. You see, the water's already starting to run more. I hadn't been working but about five minutes and the water's already running better. You see that? I have had some people commenting and saying a beaver is not doing this. Well, if it's not a beaver, whoever's doing it, wasting his dang time. We're getting ready to start trapping these beavers. They are living in the wrong area code or zip code. They may stay in the same area code. I don't know but they're not going to live here because they're causing me too much work. Not only that, they could actually, I've been told, some of y'all have told me that, they actually might start digging holes in the dam and if the water gets in that hole and starts going through, it can make, it can actually, they can actually destroy your dam. I know some of you also said that, ah, that I should be wearing a, a life jacket here doing this. I figure if I get swept down this thing, it's gonna kill me anyway. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing that a life jacket will do is uh, will help find the, find the body. Careful there, Jimmy, that between your legs. Ah. He can carry some pretty good sized stuff in here. But they really, ah, we're gaining the wood. Once you start getting the wood out, I've got some big rocks that we laid in here, just a little protection. And actually those rocks are kind of helping the beaver. <laughs> to be honest with you. Oh, you see that right there? Once you, ah, you move a piece like that, Somehow it helps when you have a big heavy one if you holler when you throw it. <laughs> you move a big one, if you move a big one out of there, 
you can really start gaining. See that? Looky there, that water's starting to run more. The moss, see all that moss? That's coontail moss. That's, that's for the fish. But actually, it really helps the beavers too. I'm getting good at this, I'm getting better. I'm learning more about how to break up a beaver dam, I think. And we'll get more water running all the time. I got a lot of the big sticks out. They start with little, little ones down in there. And then they move into bigger ones. All right. I got a lot of the big ones out. Let's see if we can start perhaps tearing some of that up now. This stuff is kind of thinking, actually, I might need to get some of those rocks out of here. But to be honest with you, that's more, more rock than I can handle. All that stuff that I'm taking out of here, all this mud and grass, that will actually wash down below once we get the water flowing good. We're gaining on it right now pretty, pretty quick. Actually, actually I'm doing really good to be honest with you. See the sticks that are all down in that grass? They start with the little stuff. We're gaining big time. Another stick. Pull it out of there, more water. Beaver's standing back there going, what? What? Mr. Beaver, we are fixing to trap you and you are leaving. And Jimmy's not gonna have to come down here and do this once a week. Fortunately, we hadn't had any rain. If we'd have had some rain, it would have really been bad. And see, we got to all those rocks, these big rocks that we put right here in front of this. Obviously, they're not going to hold any water. But what they're there for, what they're there for is to protect this from washing around all these big rocks. But the problem is it kind of helps that beaver. <sighs> You see how you had that one in there? He had that one laid in across it. That was one of his principal logs right there. Look at that log. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think that big one will float down the spillway. I think if I can get this guy, if I get that guy, I think this will float down the spillway too. Ah! Ah! Come on. Oh, I'm going down the spillway. Oh. No, not me, the log. <laughs> it's going on down there. We're supposed to get some rain in the next couple of days. We haven't had a drop. We haven't had a drop of rain in the month of January. What do you think, guys? You think that log will go down? Huh? It's too big for me to carry. I can't even hardly move it. Somehow I headed down there. I'm a logger.
That beaver thought he was winning when he got this over here. Water's getting deeper, look at that. Whew. The other log, the other log's gone. The other log's way on down the spillway, halfway down there. Let's see about this one. <laughs> Oh, gone it. Woo! The beaver uses nature to move logs like that. Jimmy uses nature to move logs like that. It might not go down right now. I may have to walk it on down, I don't know. But I think when, I think as uh, we get a lot more, look, look at how much that is. Look at that, is that a difference? I think when we, I think when we get, get the rains, you know, we got spring rains at least. That other log area, it needs to go too, really. Oh, my. All right, guys and girls. That's an hour good workout. I don't need to ride a Peloton, although if I had a Peloton, I would ride it. I wouldn't buy it for my wife because she's fat, because she's not. And if she was, it wouldn't be my job to tell her it was fat. Like my buddy Blake Shelton said, honey, it's not my job to tell you you're fat. It's my job to tell you you're beautiful. But she probably wouldn't ride one of those Pelotons anyway. But I would. <laughs> hey, guys and girls. Been a good workout out here. We got water flowing through the Eagle again, ready for those rains. Y'all go ahead and have a great one. I love you. I can see some more stuff right there. That's what I call a workout. Check back in the morning, have a daily devotional. Yeah.